Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Daily Dose of Success God's Way. This is Erin Harrigan, your hustle with heart and health coach, helping everyone attain lifetime results for total health with Arvon and helping entrepreneurs align results to God's truth. I'm in beautiful Boston. Let's see if I can give you a view from my room. I don't know, there's a Charles River out there, right? Gotta love that upgrade. Hey, listen, uh, coming to you today with this topic of tested by fire. Uh, when I first started my kingdom walk in 2014, as God was peeling back my business and showing me the first glimpses of what it meant to hustle with heart and to pursue success his way, uh, I read in my life principles, Charles Stanley Bible, and I can't remember the exact verse, but I remember his comments about um, how gold, the impurities in gold are boiled and bubbled out in, in fire. And that that is really what God is doing in our sanctification process is he is, he's bringing those impurities, those strongholds to this top, to the surface so that first of all, we can recognize them and then we can choose to lean into him to let them go. But I wanted to come to you today from first Peter and I'm going to read this to you. And then, um, I'm going to share a little bit about why, what I think this has to do with our businesses. So bear with me as I'm looking at my Bible app on my laptop. So first Peter verse six, even though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials so that the proof of your faith being more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Wow right okay so what does this have to do with our businesses you guys as we are pursuing success god's way we will be tested and quite honestly even if you were not a follower of christ you're going to have tests and trials um, and valleys in your businesses right but i think especially as god-centered entrepreneurs because we choose to seek success from a different perspective there are some extra trials and testing that we have going on. And I don't say that to make it sound like, you know, we're hardier or we're better or we're more, we are more tested in the world than anyone else. It's not a comparison. But my point is that we will be tested because what others are describing and pursuing as success looks different than we have. And I don't know about you, but even though I am committed and fully devoted to Christ at the center of my business and, and pursuing success and hustling with heart, I still have days and multiple moments in the days where I'm going, why, Lord, can I not have that? Um, why does my success not look like that? And I want you to find solace in the word daily, consistently. But in this passage from 1 Peter chapter 1, 6, and 7, he reiterates to us, just like Jesus says, that we will have trials. But the point is, is that our faith is being tested so that it proves itself um, more precious than gold and that it the results are praise and glory and honor in Christ. And you guys... I think sometimes in our businesses, we can get so caught up in the goal setting and the achieving and the going for it that we miss the point that his glory and his grace is sufficient for us. I'm not saying don't go out and build your business and earn the money and, and, you know, and work toward the promotion or those achievements. It's not what I'm saying. If that is what God has called you to, and you know that because you've been digging in with him and really praying over, Lord, what should my goals be and what right action do you want me to take? Go do that. I'm simply saying that we will have tests and trials. We will be tested by fire. And the question is, are we going to lean on our own understanding to, make, to battle that? Or are we going to surrender that to the Lord and let it be his battle? Because you guys, he's already gone out ahead of us. And he already knows the challenges that he's allowing in our lives and our businesses. And therefore, he already knows the outcomes. 
So are we going to surrender it to him is the question. So I hope you find that helpful today. Hey, listen, get on over to Success God's Way. It's Welcome Wednesday. Get ready to do our welcome messages for all of our new members. Uh, the latest blog posts drop today, so don't miss that. Get on over to AaronHarrigan.com and subscribe so you don't miss a podcast or uh, the blog. And as always, if I can support you in this pursuit of Success God's Way, whether it's making sure that you're at optimal health, I'd love to chat with you about that and um, our next Arbonne 30 clean eating group kicking off December 2nd. Or maybe you need an ally and you need a coach for 2020 uh, because you know big things are happening and the Lord is bringing you big things, but you need a coach and an ally to make sure that you stay focused. And speaking of 2020, I checked into the hotel here in Boston today and uh, I wanna show you what my room number is. What? This is how God talks to us, you guys. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.